how to save c -sharp data table into sql server table as a whole quick demo of this video tutorial here i have a c -sharp data table dtbl inside the table i have four rows and i am going to insert this table into sql server table product it has this structure like this and I am not going to insert these rows row by row I am going to insert the table as a whole using a stored procedure and a user defined table type in SQL Server Hey guys welcome to Dotnet Mob in this video I am going to show you how to save C -sharp data table into SQL Server table and this is my article on the topic I have given the article link in video description also. Before this technique, I was saving data table row by row while iterating in a loop. When I started using this new way of saving data table, I was shocked because it boosted my application performance considerably. Let's look how we can implement this technique in our upcoming projects. So this is my console application just created for showing the demo and you can download this project from the link given below in video description and uh, let me explain how it works how it can be implemented in your upcoming uh, projects here I have declared an SQL connection object SQL con with appropriate database connection string then I have created an object of data table and initialized with some test data test rows that you can see here uh, table has three columns product ID product name product code then added for test rows so our C sharp data table DTBL is initialized with these four test rows and inside this product bulk insertion method we are going to insert the table into sql server table here is the function and i created an sql command object sql cmd then i called the uh, store procedure bulk insertion product bulk insertion then I have passed the C sharp data table uh, as a product parameter. Let me show you the product bulk insertion store procedure. This is my SQL Server Management Studio, and this is the table product. It has same number of columns and same column name like c sharp data table currently the uh, table product is empty that you can see by executing the select star query and you can see the store procedure bulk insertion product bulk insertion here and we have only one uh, parameter that is product of the type udt product actually uh, udt product is user defined table type and it must be read only that is one important point of this technique like i said udt product is user defined type in sql server so you can see this udt product here under types then user defined table type here it is udt product let me show you the script that I used to create this UDT product. We have to write the script for creating user defined types. We can create types using design window like we do for uh, tables. And here is the syntax create type, then schema of the type, and the name of the type then as table then uh, the uh, table structure here is the deal we are passing the uh, c sharp data table into this uh, stored procedure so this 
user defined table must have the same structure as that of the C sharp data table that we are going to pass. Okay. They must have same number of columns, name, same number of column name, and then the data type also. Okay. Okay. Now come back to our store procedure product bulk insertion. And here we have passed the C sharp data table as product parameter into the store procedure. And here we are going to insert the rows from the product parameter into the table product. Insert into product then column list goes here. Then we are selecting rows from the uh, parameter product. So this should insert the rows that we were passed from our project here. Okay, let me show you the actual uh, demo of this console application. Like I said, this is a C sharp console application, and in this application, we will be inserting this C sharp data table into SQL Server table product. After inserting the uh, table rows, it will show us product table inserted successfully. And currently, like I said, product table is empty now. There is no rows. So now I am going to run the application and it inserted the rows into SQL Server table product. Let me run the select query once again. Four rows are inserted. The technique works. And before winding up this video, let me remind you one thing. In case of live applications, the requirement of application may change according to the client. In that case, we may have to change our product table structure also. In that case, you have to change our user defined uh, data type uh, structure. So, in SQL Server, we don't have any alter query for uh, user defined types to add or remove any of these uh, columns you have to drop the type then recreate it okay that's the only one uh, problem in this technique if you have management studio i have some trick for you to create the user defined type okay first of all you have to export or uh, take script in new new tab First of all, you have to take the script for the store procedure and user defined table. Okay, that you can do by right clicking on the for that right click on the store procedure, then store procedure script store procedure as then create to then new query window. Same for the user defined type also. Okay. Now we have the exact script for creating the store procedure and the uh, user defined type. Now you can uh, delete the store procedure first, then delete the user defined table also. Now this is the uh, user defined uh, tab, uh, table type uh, script. You can do whatever change you wish and you can uh, execute this uh, uh, script and you will have the uh, latest uh, user defined table and then after that you can update the store procedure accordingly then after that you can execute this store procedure also that's the uh, best method for modifying the user defined table okay that's it for today guys thanks for watching this video you can download this uh, project that i used in this video tutorial from the link given below in video description please be subscribed to my channel dot that mob and thumbs up i will see you in the next video with more useful tips and tricks
Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.